In this video, I'm going to be talking about how actually to add a key file or create a volume with a key file. So we go to create volume and we do all our thing that we've gone over a bunch of times. We call it test encrypted volume or key file, key file encrypted volume, encrypted volume. Okay, and when we do our thing, then AES or SHA-512, good enough. And we go 10 megabytes as normal. And password is going to be something very weak, like test. Display our password. And we're going to use key files. So for this example, we're just going to use our normal Veracrypt test key file. It could be anything, but we're going to use the, uh, we're going to use the copy of my desktop that uh, picture that I use. All right, so then we go back here. And, yep, and this is just warning us to not to use short passwords. Then blah blah blah. This doesn't matter. The, uh, we obviously want it as random as possible, but we can we can format it at any point. So we just format it here. Click format. <coughs> Yep, and now it's been created. Then we hit exit. So here's our key key file encrypted volume. So we go here, we select our file, go to desktop, key file encrypted volume. We mount, it's going to ask our password, hit test, display password as test, key files, add files, and then Veracrypt, uh, Veracrypt test, uh, the Veracrypt test key file. So and boom, we hit OK. And we have just created a encrypted volume that needs a key file to open. It needs a password and a key file. It can't just, if you try the password, it's not going to work. It has to be the password and the key file. Now we have access. Now we, you know, are locked, cocked, and ready to rock. And that's this little video for today. If you guys like that video, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and help the channel out. Appreciate you.